It might be most famously known for its music composer, but that doesn't mean that the Austrian city of Salzburg can't be creative in other ways too. A quarter of a million people are expected to attend an art festival that began on Friday. And while the event will only last a month, it's been built on a legacy that's been around for nearly a century. The birthplace of classical composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart is celebrating the 97th year of its music and theatre festival. And while the event doesn't necessarily revolve around him, Salzburg's most famous resident is being remembered with a modern retelling of his last composition, La Clemenza di Tito. Mozart, with his dying breath, wanted to give humanity something that was a real vision of how to live together. And so La Clemenza di Tito is the great piece of truth and reconciliation is the great piece of how do we live together in an era of conflict, and particularly after horrible histories, how do people reconcile? The festival boasts hundreds of performances and musicians from all over the world, including Verdi's Ida, directed by Iranian artist Shirin Nishat. Salzburg at this time of the year is very, very full of people from all over the world. And of course they are interested a lot in culture. And I think this goes well together, especially when we show the diversity of our culture here. Of course there's a lot of traditional Austrian culture, but we also want cultures to contribute from other countries, because some of their inhabitants are living here in Salzburg. Not afraid to challenge the norms, the festival will also feature a performance by Italian mezzo-soprano, Cecilia Bartoli, who will don a beard to play the title character in Handel's Ariadante. The five-time Grammy winner is not new to playing male roles and has been praised for her unique approach. Sono Ariadante. Ariodante is this warrior who is in love, therefore he is a strong man, but at the same time a really weak man, because he is in love with Genevira, and this looks like a difficult love, if not an impossible love. The vision of this Ariodante is very interesting, maybe one of the most impressive works of the genius of Handel. As well as attending the festival, locals say it's a great time for tourists to come and just see the city itself. It's just a special charm. I think here you'll find something else. That's simply the atmosphere of the city. This can only be found in Salzburg. Yes, I am proud that we have this in the city. I don't have to go far to enjoy culture. The festival will strike its final note on August the 30th, with organisers hoping it will have brought music to the ears of everyone who's attended.